Welcome back, everybody, to the Just One More Level podcast. I am your co-host, Christian. And I am your co-host, John. And today we played a little bit of a wonderful game from 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 Software. Awkward phrase. Uh, <laughs> Bloodborne. 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 It is so good. It is so good. And I, I, Jonathan hasn't really expressed his feelings on this game to me, but I, I feel don't. like he may feel a little bit different about it than I do. And I guess, you know, for anybody who doesn't know, Bloodborne is part of the Soulsborne genre. It's, mm-hmm. you know, it's a Demon Souls like, a Dark Souls like game. It, it, it can be tough in different Mm -hmm. situations but in i feel a very fair way and that definitely isn't everybody's type of game so i completely understand if you don't like it as much as i did jonathan to be honest i have only ever played one other soulsborne game and i thought it was fine but i didn't get into it nearly as much as i did this game Mm -hmm. but yes for anybody who doesn't know about those soulsborne games are you 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 usually a dark gritty landscape and Mm -hmm. they're they're like action rpg games right you build your character you have your stats all that and you you, the the big draw of these games is that you die in just a few hits essentially the mm-hmm. the combat is kind of slow to be honest with you for the most part and it's very methodical right you have to watch the enemy you have to learn their patterns learn their tells for how they're going to attack and when they're going to attack and then take advantage of their weaknesses um and as somebody who hasn't played a whole lot of that genre i'm sure it gets much much deeper than that but that's the the long and short of it right like yeah. am i missing anything here uh no but um i will say that christian is much better at video games in general than i am um and he's a lot quicker on the uptake so if there's a learning curve to a game you can bet that christian is gonna be able to pick up on that and you know follow the curve he's gonna be able to surf the curve a boogie board if you will boogie on that board. curve uh, on until he gets where he's going i on the other hand am a little dense <laughs> when it comes to the learning (laughs) curve of a type of game that I've never tried. So I've tried Bloodborne before, but by try, I mean I load up the game, die several dozen times, and then just kind of give up. So... (laughs) That's that's what it, this is the first time I've tried. I've tried to learn the combat. I've tried to learn the things that you should. I've tried to look up reviews online, right? And like see like, okay, is there like tips and tricks for starting out? I don't want spoilers. I don't want to walk through just like, hey, what's something should I to be? get you started, something to lead you down right. the right path. Right. Right, right, gotcha. right. Um, yeah, and most of the tips and tricks were like, shit's hard, man. You just gotta, <laughs> gotta, get, gotta good, get good, mate. Yeah. You just gotta get good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, okay, cool, thanks, love that. Um, so I got better. I don't think I got good, not even close. I couldn't even beat the mob. I tried to beat the mob. The mob is one of the first things that you encounter in the game if you go the direction that the game wants you to. And I couldn't beat the mob, and I couldn't beat the ogre guy that is the alternate to beating the mob. Um, so. <laughs> I played so, an hour of the game. <laughs> I'm not well, even positive if I... Are, are those the first two bosses that you're talking about? Or... No, no. Okay. I don't think this okay. is going to be qualified as a boss. No, okay. this is a mob of people around a oh, burning mob. Something. Okay, okay. Yes. I... I okay. I, I... Yeah, I beat both of those. Um, mm-hmm. I... I really ended up enjoying this game. So, just for oh, a little bit too. of backstory, I, yeah. the, I... I mentioned playing a little bit of one of the other games. Demon Souls was the one, right? I picked up Demon okay. Souls for PS3 back in the day, and I played played a few hours of it and it was fine right it was and i say that a lot and it's because it was it to me fine is just average it i didn't have any major complaints but nothing really drew me towards the series either and obviously a lot of people ended up really enjoying it because dark souls then came out which was essentially the same type of game and then blew up dark souls is now a huge franchise but it never really pulled me back in i've always said i'm going to try dark souls i'm going to beat them i've always said it never got around to it and then i saw a friend playing bloodborne years ago and something mm-hmm. about the more gothic slightly oh, more modern yeah. setting of bloodborne mm-hmm. really pulled me in oh yeah it mm-hmm. it made me want to play this game specifically compared to the others right. um i i kept waiting for it to come to pc and never did sadly and then mm-hmm. uh we ended up finding a good deal on it so i picked it yep. up and then oddly enough i didn't even end up opening my copy i played it on playstation now which probably led mm-hmm. to a little bit of lag and a less than perfect playing experience to be honest but uh, i it doesn't still seem like it from the footage so 
far. I still loved it. Like, yeah. playing it, I could feel a little bit of lag, but it didn't seem too bad. I do think I would enjoy it a tiny bit more if I was playing a local copy or whatever. But it, it, gotcha. it's whatever. Um, yeah. Put that aside, it's still, the controls are so tight, like, in a good way, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it, when you hit, everything feels weighty that you do. Like, there is weight behind it. You swing your, I don't know what, like, starting weapon you picked or if you, you found, like, the starting weapons and things, oh, I'm guessing. Yeah. I right? Okay, good. All right. It's my act. I picked the cane and yes. the cane seems like it may be the worst option <laughs> just from like a stat standpoint yeah. but yeah. something about it seemed cool and I kind of regretted mm -hmm. not making an old man uh now I just want an old yeah. I just want to play an old frail dude that is a cane. waste of skin that's the class mm -hmm. that I picked waste of skin it's it's the class that starts oh, no. six levels under the rest of them mm -hmm. uh, so you right. start at level four instead of level 10 and with no blood echoes which is like the money the currency in this game you don't start with any of that either um but Why stat wise it's perfectly fine because stat wise it's fine like it, it doesn't have yeah. the highest stats of any of the classes right. but no single stat is the lowest either so right. it, it's actually a kind of average build from the start right. you just are at a lower level um right but anyways whatever and now if i whenever i go back because i do plan on completing this game at some point spoilers um mm -hmm. i i think i'm going to create a new character and yeah i'm just gonna make this old frail dude that's a waste of skin and just goes around with his cane beating monsters i i <laughs> something about it i love it i think that's perfect um right but yeah the the, I, the animations for all of the mm -hmm. creatures so that you can you can kind of tell what they're going to do the way the mm -hmm. combat works and, and then the dodging and how weighty everything feels i don't have a single complaint except except okay. i mm -hmm. wish you could dodge roll out of attacks yeah um you have to finish an animation before you can dodge and right. it makes sense right mm -hmm. it, it makes sense but at the same time it would be nice um if you could you know because I, I guess i'm just more yeah. used to like uh, kingdom hearts for instance you know it's one of the action rpgs that i've played the most of and right. in, in that game you can generally dodge roll out of the middle mm -hmm. of an attack or or um god of war is very forgiving with dodge rolling out of attacks yeah. and things like that so i guess you i'm just more to used to that. that style yeah yeah you have to master that in god of war and that's that's what i was reminded of the most just because i don't have a basis for comparison i've right. never played a souls type game other than this um so that's that's the closest thing i had in terms of like just going through and um laying waste to the land <laughs> right yeah with, with carnage you know that's that that's about the only thing i had but i also wish that you could dodge and block <laughs> i don't know why you can't counter i would love to count well you can counter by after stunning an enemy you know what i mean and you can counter by like moving out of the way and then hitting them to stun them but i would love to be able to use like bring my axe up and slap some guy's sword out of their hand <laughs> like cut it um, out you know what i mean like I, I would love to be able to do that but you can't you gotta you gotta just get good you gotta know did you, you memorize did you make use of items in the game so not like weapons yeah. but you can collect oil and molotovs and and stones and things like uh, that yes yes okay. um because i was gonna can, say you can, so you can kind lure, of some lure people stun away people like that yeah you can lure people away with uh with pebbles you can hit yeah. them with a pebble and they'll be alerted to you so you can pick them off so you don't have to fight them as a group um you can stun enemies with your gun your gun is not in any means a ranged weapon it is mainly it is just for stunning uh you can do damage but you cannot like it's not intended for you to be able to kill something with your gun your gun is uh used secondary to your your main weapon um that may change later on in the game maybe i'm just doing it wrong but as far as i can tell your gun is used to stun and to i get think people i think and i could be wrong on this as well but i think the gun is specifically meant for certain beasts i i think uh, it's yeah. meant more or less for for the non-humanoids um okay. again yeah. could certainly be wrong but i think it's the whole like silver bullet werewolf style thing right yeah, yeah. where they that's, that's there are certain collect. creatures that are weak to this weapon and that's okay. what that's for as well as the ability to use it as a somewhat of a stun from a bit of range so i yeah. think it's kind of a combo purpose thing there right so um i usually pick the blunderbuss the other times that i've played but i picked the pistol this time just because you that's get what more I ammo well. yep um so you just you get more ammo that way so i thought maybe that'd be a better option um and i picked the hunter's axe because yeah. i just i love it it's so beefy yeah you just <laughs> you, you just hit so hard I, I, it's so satisfying i i just i i loved it the first time i played this game everyone was getting a kick out of watching me play because i was like taste my axe <laughs> 
<laughs> Get it! And Ooh. from what I've read, it, it it seems as if the axe may be one of the best weapons as well. Like oh, really? it, as far as like starting weapons go, it's like um, slower, but it has heavy damage. So yeah, essentially some something along those lines. And yeah. then I, I, what was the other one? The, the it was like a cleaver or something. Uh, the, yeah, the other a weapon, sock cleaver, sock cleaver, the hunter's axe, and a threaded cane. Yeah, was and the, of was course I picked the cane, the, the weakest of the weapons, but right. it's neat. All right, you're just going around <laughs> with this cane stabbing people with the end of it or beating them with it and then it has an alt attack if you press i think it's l1 it mm-hmm. changes the style of attack where it becomes a chain whip right <laughs> oh. you could just whip people with it and i, I didn't, didn't know, know about that, that. So i cool. didn't know about that either until like half hour yeah. 45 minutes in well, so that, it actually that's... lets you change the way that you fight with it as well in k yeah. mode you're a little bit more closer combat with it like if you're in confined spaces and things you can get more mm-hmm. of a swing on it where the mm-hmm. chain requires a little bit more space because otherwise it'll hit walls right. and objects and you'll lose your your attack basically with it it'll stop it in right. its tracks um, right yeah and i don't know if the other weapons have alternate attack modes like that as well or not i don't mm-hmm. know because this is the only one i've played with but yes. i i really liked that chain uh that i ended up finding out mm-hmm. about too that was so cool the first time i clicked that and then swung it and then oh man it was it was a yeah. really neat experience the, um, yeah the axe transforms into a two-handed weapon um, okay okay so you yeah you have a one-handed axe swing and it's just a battle axe um, but then you do this really sick animation when you go into two-handed mode where you just grab the handle and yank it and it extends and oh, now you have this two-handed neat. axe and you get to like swing around with it nice. and just do this huge nice. sweeping attack and it, it devastates when it hits but whether or not you can get it to hit <laughs> right yeah yeah <laughs> it depends on how good you are at the game so if I'm going to diagnose this um, I would say you have to be dedicated so you if you're coming at it from a direct like I am never played a Souls game typically not great at really challenging games that require a lot of learned skill Um, I do appreciate that I appreciate the fairness it's not unfair like old mm-hmm. NES games are where right. you have like in- yeah. death yeah. hits and uh, enemies that respawn and all, the, all that kind of stuff Crap that like knock back with long stun times yeah, yeah right exactly like that. S- stuff that feels like unfair like you didn't plan that you didn't want that to happen you know that that's not cool every Everything in this game feels totally fair. It's just brutal. It's brutally mm-hmm. hard. And when you learn what you're going to learn, then you can conquer it. And that you get a lot of sense of, hey, I did a thing. I did that thing. I beat the game. That that means that I'm good. I'm good. So I beat the game. And that's great. But you have to be dedicated. You have to be, you have to say, I am going to sit down today and I'm going to play about Born. And I'm not going to get up until I'm good enough to beat this next thing. <laughs> and right. when um when you're doing something like we do, where you know you only play an hour of a game game and you just get kind of good at it and then you kind of move along to the next game it you know that that might not be what you're able to do you might not be able to dedicate the time for it but if you are able to and this game captures you like it has christian and i because i'm the same way as you i love the setting oh mm-hmm. my god it's like jack the ripper's london it's yeah perfect. and it almost reminds me of like plague times or something like that because yeah there's something yeah. going on where there's some sort of hunt going on and, and during this hunt everybody locks themselves indoors essentially essentially mm-hmm. except for i don't know if these people are cursed but they're all they're not yes. quite right right there's yeah. something wrong with all the people that you meet on the so, streets and then obviously I, there's also beasts and things that you find so i do know a little bit about this game i can lend a little context here By um means. so what you're playing in you're playing in a in a 19th century london uh or adjacent alternate mm-hmm. universe london right right um, yeah. and what you're doing the operation that you undergo at the beginning is you undergo a blood transfusion mm-hmm. and the blood transfusion has been tainted and the the contaminant the contagion that is a bloodborne pathogen in this world uh gives you superhuman abilities but right. at a cost okay. it will over time mutate and transform you so you have to you have to weigh that it cures all diseases anything that's wrong with you it cures so if you have one of the the modern day you know in in this day and age one of the plagues or right. um any kind of body bodily ailments or um, handicap, it completely cures that. It takes it away. But you will mutate over time. So your character, I believe, is on a mission. Um, You're on the hunt to uh, take down all of these beasts that have mutated. And I think there's some kind of greater resolution to the game where um, you're actually on a mission to uh, 
uh, relieve everyone and save everyone from this contagion. Yeah, I've seen a little bit of that in like the loading screens because like many games during loading screens, it'll, it'll give you little mm-hmm. quips about the world or or just little right. behind the scenes things or whatever. And and I, I noticed it said something about basically having to relive this nightmare or whatever until mm-hmm. you you find the source of the scourge or whatever, right? Um, right. Something along those lines. And uh, so uh, so I, I kind of had a sense that, yeah, there was there was some thing like some end, some final, you know, right. source of whatever the curse of this land is that mm-hmm. you need to to find and defeat. But but I didn't realize that it I'm guessing all these other mutated people that are around, mm-hmm. they also mm-hmm. went under the same sort of operation then and have just failed for a very long time. So they have started uh, to mutate. Is that kind of uh, the idea here? Well, they, they've continued to imbibe. They have continued to use the blood. If you continue to use the blood, you get more and more powerful, but you mutate faster. Oh. So they, they that's why you collect blood echoes and blood vials from these people is because they continue to use the blood. Okay. And okay. that mutates them faster, but it gives you special powers. So they continue to use. And I think, I'm pretty sure that the bosses that you face, because you face like big monstrous bosses, right? Um, right. They they use all of the blood. <laughs> they So they mutate real hard. I'm pretty okay. sure. Okay. I'm pretty sure they're mutated things. I don't think they're just like eldritch beasts. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> no, I gotcha. That, that exist in the world for some reason, you know? And that's kind of a, a thing with Soulsborne games as well, from what I've heard, is the okay. lore for these games tends to be a little bit more in the background, right? It's there if you search for it and read through all the entries that you find and, and really okay. dig into it. But mm-hmm. you have to want to find it, essentially. Um, like, you, you can uh, you can almost play through the games and, and hardly have a sense of what's going on. It, it's what I've read. Obviously, right. again, my, my experience with the games is, is very limited um so i could be way off base but that's kind of what i've heard and and i got a sense of that from this game right where like i I hardly had any idea what was going on why i was thrown into the situation that i was thrown in um so Mm -hmm. but at the same time it it leaves me wanting to explore more right it leaves me wanting to figure out what is going on why am i doing what i'm doing why are there all these these creatures these mutated people uh abound that i have to that i have to defeat here and I, mm-hmm. I actually quite enjoy the the sort of storytelling that this game is pulling off. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's very atmospheric. It, mm-hmm. it just gives you enough to want to keep going and keep uncovering, but uh, not so much that it feels brought down, that you right. feel the pace bringing itself down. Yeah, it's it, it's one of those kind of things. Yeah, I absolutely love this game. It's, uh, it's brutally hard and it's especially difficult challenge for me because I'm so not used to it. I've heard tell of these games in the past and I, I've never bothered to try um but i want to i absolutely love bloodborne i love the atmosphere i love the uh design the aesthetic um i love how you can be rewarded for all of your effort i don't know how much time i'm gonna have to put into it i would love to um and and someday i plan on it but it's it's gonna require some dedication on my part and uh considering everything we have going on right now it might not be for a while but right i Understand i me. definitely want to try it yeah i would i would play just one more level of Bloodborne. yeah this game just is at the top of my list as one of the games that I, I want to play to completion. Um, yeah. I, I'm in the middle of playing a couple other games at the moment, so I don't know if it'll be right away, but I'll be honest with you, the past couple days, this is the only game that I've been like, man, I, I wish I had more time to play this, right? Oh, really? like, I, I haven't had time yeah. to play any games the past few days, but but That's every day I've Ghost just Masters. been like, <laughs> just yeah, yeah, and just like, man, I, I wish I could play more Bloodborne right now, because um, right. I, I just really, really ended up enjoying it. Um, so I would for sure play just one more level and hopefully soon i will be mm-hmm. playing just one more level i don't know gotcha. what the average completion time is of this game or anything like that um mm-hmm. but I, I, I yeah <laughs> but for me personally I, I don't think it'll be too big of a yeah. uh, undertaking and okay. uh, i i just really really want to get back into it i right right, right. i i like I, said, I have nothing bad to say about it just no. that i wish you could dodge roll out of attacks like I'm, like that's I, or, it. oh wait the there was there was one block. little thing there was one little thing um the i found the map a little bit confusing because there is a a 
a little bit of verticality to the map, right? You can drop right. down from different areas. And mm -hmm. I did that at one point because I wasn't exactly sure which way I wanted to go. I didn't want to go backwards, but mm -hmm. I didn't really want to like start fighting a boss or anything because I was kind of low on health. And I, I do the classic gamer thing of over conserving my healing potions. So right. I was like, I'll, I'll just kind of go to the side here. I'll try that instead. And that ended right. up being like a half hour mistake because I had <laughs> no idea how to get back to where I was after right. dropping down off of this platform and oh, okay. uh, so yeah. so it, i did find the map a little bit confusing but yeah. that's that's it yeah I, I can't think of anything else that that's I... it that, that's the thing too it doesn't have a map you just right i just mean map as learn. a layout of the world yeah right yeah, yeah. like you just kind of have to learn where to go i i, I would have liked i think maybe some kind of reference i understand if that's not what this game is for you i know, think a physical like map would have been good and by physical yeah. i don't mean real world but like a button you could have clicked to pull up a map but uh yeah. we you don't have had to this put discussion like a, you don't have to put it in the hud or anything yeah, yeah. just we've just had that like discussion in other button. episodes i am against 90 percent of the time having um, a map in the hud well not necessarily a map in the hud but like a full-on gps like a mini yeah. map i think can be okay depending on the game but just mm -hmm. literally telling you turn by turn directions on how to get mm -hmm. somewhere i think really right. detracts from the experience of most games and in a lot of ways i think getting lost like that was part of the enjoyment of the game because i had no idea what was going to be gotcha. around the next corner i had no okay. idea how long it was going to be until i could get back to to a location of safety right? Right, right right so i was i was lost and i was consumed in the world and if mm -hmm. i just had a map to to tell me where to go or a gps god forbid to tell me turn by turn how to get right back to the hunter's dream so that i could save and heal and all that i wouldn't have had that same sense of danger that same sense of being in this world of belonging to this world so I, uh, right, right. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, and it, at least it, it it pretty much all ends up in the same place. Mm -hmm. Like you end up just getting routed around yes. a lot. Yeah, and that's and what you end up, up happening. Back in like the same place. Yeah. So at least that's nice. Um, but yeah, I I I didn't I didn't get too far in this game. <laughs> I never so, ended up beating a boss yeah. or anything, like I said. I, I didn't get that right. far because, like I said, I got lost and then just kind of explored. But, uh, right. yeah, so, and because of that, I never even got to level up, right? I That's something I had to Google. was yeah. like, how the hell do you level up in this game? And yeah. apparently you have to beat the first boss before you can actually start to level up. So that's uh, okay. a thing. But, so you yeah. just you just stockpile, like, XP and stuff? Well, I think it's from... So I, I don't 100% understand how it works, but it seems to be okay. some sort of mix between something called initiative points that you end up getting and blood mm -hmm. echoes like okay. you you use the two together in some way to kind of to level well up. i read yeah i if you go back to the hunter's dream um after a little while you can actually go in the building yes there, i did that and there's yep. like a there's like a workshop in there where yes. you can fortify your weapons yes. and um eventually you'll get new ones and you can spend uh your blood echoes on upgrades yes. and i think i upgraded one i think i upgraded my axe a little yeah, i did the same with my, but, my cane yeah um but that was all I was able to do. Um, and that's after I didn't even I didn't even realize it at first. But I found later that you um, whoever kills you after you respawn yes. has all your stuff. Mm -hmm. They got all, they your, keep blood all your blood echoes. echoes. Yep. So that you can so get them you back. Have and kill, I, you have to kill that guy again. Yes. You have to and kill I, that I guy. could be wrong, again, but I think but... that's another uh, staple of the Soulsborne series. Okay. Um, that sort of mechanic. One thing I would have really liked to see the uh, Shadow of Mordor games, how they have that like uh, I forget what they mm -hmm. call the mechanic exactly, but where or something that kills you gets more powerful it would have yeah. been neat to me if them getting all those blood echoes from you mm -hmm. made that specific person more powerful whenever you went back and fought them again right yeah. i think that would have been that a really be cool. cool mechanic actually that would have been yeah. I, I think we've spent long enough on bloodborne here i, I don't have much yeah. more to say about it with yeah. the hour or so that i played um mm -hmm. it's the first game in a while and the only game in the list today that i lost track of time while playing so i mean that's a that's a that's glowing a recommendation in my opinion yeah yeah mm -hmm. absolutely so, try it out uh, right. i think it's on sale currently for like 20 bucks uh at mm -hmm. like different places so yeah and uh hashtag not sponsored but if you have a subscription to ps now which i yes. recently got and i am loving and that's um, how i played it, bloodborne myself so uh -huh. yeah. yeah it's it's free on there playstation now is ten dollars a month which is a great deal because you get hundreds of games uh this mm -hmm. is equivalent to xbox game pass if you guys anybody out there is familiar with that um ah it's really really good uh is, unfortunately great, a lot of them are stream service. only yeah. but on it doesn't PC, do they're all stream job. only on okay. playstation Station 4, I think you can download all PS4 and PS2 games, but then okay. no PS3 games, I think is how it works. Or PS1. I don't think you can download those ones either, but I, I, I could okay. be wrong. There may be like some that um, you can and some that you can't for some reason, but I, gotcha, I used gotcha. PlayStation Now on my PC, so yeah. Gotcha, yeah. 
um, yeah, it was, uh, but it's, it's a great deal. I recommend it, even though I'm not sponsored. And I highly recommend the game. Um, so anyway, Christian, where can we find ourselves? Yeah, where I mean, we have the website, the YouTube, <laughs> the Twitters, the Facebooks, uh, the Twitch, of course. You, you've you've heard the, us say all, all this them. before. All of the yeah. things. Um, so, and just Let's check go. out the description below the video or, or wherever you are listening to this podcast. It'll have links for what we, where we are and what we're up to. And uh, yeah. we, we've mentioned it a couple times before. Um, hopefully soon we'll have more to show you on other projects that we've been working on. Um, yep. A little Halloween themed thing ourselves that we've uh, been working on and off on for a while so halloween mm. Mm. killing it i'm just enjoying watching you play at this point yeah. i'm just <laughs> it's so good it's so good because you made it we're gonna... you, you're... Yeah, yeah, yeah where you are right where you are right now in the video is where i ended up after all of my tries <laughs> yeah this part got a little intense because there were so many people from that mob yeah. and what mm -hmm. i was trying to do was pick them off like one by one by like throwing right. pebbles at them or shooting them or whatever but mm -hmm. then suddenly i triggered them somehow and there was just a crowd of them and i was like yeah. oh no but uh it's okay right handled it so all right guys so <laughs> thank you so much for watching as always you don't have to but you do and we appreciate it very much so until next time bye-bye bye-bye <laughs> y'all